In this lecture, we are going to continue learning about aggregation pipeline and we are going to learn about some more stages and operators of an aggregation pipeline. So in the VS Code, let's go ahead and let's create a new route handler function. For that, on the exports, let's go ahead and let's specify a function name. Let's call it maybe get movie by genre. Okay, and here we are going to create an async function. This function is going to receive a request and response object. All right. And inside this function, we are going to write the logic to get all the movies with a given genre. Okay, so let's say this is our business requirement where we want to get all the movies with a given genre and return it to the user. So for this route handler function, let's also go ahead and let's create a route here. So I will copy this line, paste it here, and here let's pass get movies by genre. Okay, and here let's call it maybe movie by genre, or let's call it movies by genre. All right, so here we have our route defined. We also have our route handler function. Inside this route handler function, let's also go ahead and let's specify a try catch block. So let's do our basic setup first. In the catch block, let me go ahead and let me copy this code. Let me paste it here. And here, this catch block is also going to receive the error object. In the same way, let me also copy this line of code from here. And let's paste it inside the try block. Now, in the route which we have defined, let's say we are also going to receive a route parameter. Okay, and I'm going to call it maybe genre. So in the route handler function, let's first go ahead and let's read the value of that genre. For that, let me go ahead and create a variable. Let's call it genre. And to read the value of a route parameter on the request object, we have this params object. And on that, we will have this genre as its property. And then let me also go ahead and let me create another variable. I will call it movies. And here on the movie model, I'm going to call this aggregate function because here we want to use the aggregation pipeline. And let's also go ahead and await it. Okay, and let's pass this movie in the response. Now, to this aggregate method, we can pass an array and inside that array, we can specify all the aggregation pipeline stages which we want to use, right? Now, before we define the stages inside this aggregation pipeline, let's first go ahead and let's have a look at our movie data. So let's go to Postman. And in there, I am going to make a request to this endpoint, which will return us all the movies in the response. Okay, so here we have all our movies. And if you notice, each movie object has this genres field and it is assigned with an array. So a single movie can have multiple genres. Right, for example, this first movie, Divergent, it has four genres. If I scroll down, the another movie, Elysium, it also has four genres, action, drama, sci-fi, and thriller. If I scroll down, we have another movie, and if we see its genres, it also has four genres. So, let's say we have a requirement where we want to get all the movies from this movies list where the genre is action. In order to do that, what we will have to do is, we will have to destructure each movie object based on its genre. For example, we will have a movie object called Robocop where the genre will be action. We will have another movie object called Robocop where the genre will be crime. We will have another movie object called Robocop where the genre will be sci-fi and so on. And then from those movie objects, we can filter the movies where the genre is simply action. And in order to achieve this, we can use a stage in aggregation pipeline called unwind. Now to use a stage, we use a set of curly braces. There we specify the stage name. So here the stage name is going to be unwind. Okay. And to this unwind stage, we can assign a field which is assigned with an array. And then this unwind will destructure that document based on that array. Let me actually show you that. So here to this unwind field, we are going to assign genres field. Okay. With this, let's save the changes here. Let's go to Postman and here, let me open a new tab. I'll copy this URL from here. Okay, and let me also go ahead and copy the endpoint. So it is 
slash movies by genre so let me copy this one let's go back to postman let me paste that okay and for now let's simply pass the genre as action here currently we are not using this genre anywhere in our code so here what will happen is each of these movie objects will be destructured based on its genre so for example this first movie it will be destructured into four movie objects and each movie object will have a single genre first movie object will have genre action second movie object will have genre as adventure third movie object will have genre as romance and fourth movie object will have genre as sci-fi in the same way the next movie object will also get destructure based on its genre so here also we have four genres so this movie object will be destructure into four movie objects into four movie documents and each movie document will have a single genre let me actually show you that so here let's make a request and here we have this error message stats is not defined let me go back to vs code let's go back to our movies controller all right and here it should be movies dot length and not stats dot length let me save the changes again let's go back to postman let's make this request and now you see we have 26 documents in the result so for example if we look at the first document here the movie name is divergent and its genre is action then here also the movie name is divergent but now its genre is adventure here also the movie name is divergent but genre is romance and here also the movie name is divergent but the genre is sci-fi then we have another movie called elysium here the genre is action then we have the same movie elysium but here the genre is drama we have the same movie object elysium but here the genre is sci-fi and so on so i hope now you get what this unwind stage does it basically destructures a document based on a field which is assigned with an array and it creates multiple documents from a single document based on that array field now let's say we also want to get the count of all the movies with a given genre for that we can use another stage which we have already talked about and that is the group stage okay and here to this group stage i will pass an object in there we want to group the documents based on the genre so here we will have this underscore id field and to this we are going to assign the genres field so here i will say genres because that's the field name if i go back the field name is genres and based on this field we want to group the documents okay and then we also want to get the movie count for each genre so i am going to create a field i will call it movie count and here to this i'll assign an object and in there we are going to use dollar sum operator and to this i will assign one so basically what will happen is for each movie with a given genre this sum will be added with the value one so for example let's say if the genre is action in that case the first movie with the genre is action there the sum will be one for the second movie where the genre is action the sum will be two for the third movie where the genre is action the sum will be three and so on and that value will be assigned to this movie count and we not only want the movies count for a given genre but we also want which movies belong to that genre for that again i am going to create a new field i'll call it movies and this movies here it is basically going to be an array and in that array what we want is we want to push the movie name with a given genre so to push an element to an array we have an operator called dollar push now what do we want to push to this movies array here to this movies array we want to push the movie name with a given genre so here we are going to specify the field as name let's save the changes let's go back to postman and now if i click on the send button you will see that now the documents are grouped by their genre so with this genre as crime we have three movies and these are the movies list with, with that genre then with the genre as thriller we have movie count as four and these are the movies which belongs to that genre then in the same way we have this genre action for this genre we have six movies and these are the movies which belongs to that genre 
now here instead of showing id as action what i want is i want to show genre as action here we need this underscore id field because here we want to group by a given field in this case we are grouping by the genres field but instead of showing this underscore id as action what i want is i want to have a field called genre and there i want to assign that field with that particular genre for which we are displaying the movie list in this case i want to have a field called genre which should be assigned with the value action then here in this case i want to have a field called genre which should be assigned with the value thriller so let me show you how we can do that for that we have another stage called add field so dollar add fields and to this we can specify which field we want to add so i want to add a genre field so this will be the name of the field and what value i want to assign to that field so i want to assign this field with the value which is assigned to underscore id field okay so whatever value is assigned to this underscore id field i want to assign that value to this genre field which we are newly creating using this add fields and since it is a stage it should come outside of this group stage okay let's save the changes here let's go back to postman and if i make a request again now you will notice that we have this genre field and for that we are specifying the genre now since we have this genre field here i don't want to have this id field in the result for that we can use another stage and this stage is called as project so this project stage is basically used to tell which fields do we want in the result okay so here inside this either you can specify which fields you want by setting its value to 1 or you can specify which fields you don't want by specifying its value to 0 for example in the result i don't want this underscore id field so i will simply set it to 0 if i save the changes now and if we go to postman and now if i make the request now we should not have underscore id field in the result all right now let's also go ahead and let's sort this result based on the movie count so what i want is the genre with the highest movie count should be at the top and the genre with the lowest movie count should be at the bottom so here we have this movie count field based on this field we are going to sort this result and we already know how to do that for that we have a stage called sort okay and here we want to sort by movie count field and we want to sort it in descending order for that we'll specify minus one when we want to sort in ascending order we specify the value as one but since we want to sort in descending order we have specifying the value as minus one with this let's save the changes let's again test it out so let's go to postman there let me make a request by clicking on this send button and here you see the movie with the highest movie count is at the top as you can see they are sorted now in the descending order based on this movie count and the movie with the lowest movie count is at the bottom so basically we have one movie where the genre is biography and that movie is in the bottom now we also have another stage called limit and as the name suggests this limit stage is basically used to limit the result for example currently here we have the result count as 9 but if i set this limit to 6 then in the result we will have only 6 documents let's actually see that so let me save the changes here let's go to postman and if i make a request now here we should have count as 6 that means we should have only 6 documents in the result okay but i'm not going to use it so i'll simply comment it here i'll keep it for your reference and finally what i want is here in the url we are passing the genre name for example action so what i want is i only want to get those movies in the result or from here i only want to get that document in the result where this genre matches the value which we are passing as the route parameter okay so for example when i'm passing action i only want to have this document in the result when i pass sci-fi i only want to have this document in the result okay so for that 
let's go ahead and let's use the match stage here so we are going to use dollar match stage and here we want to match by the genre field basically this field so let me specify that field name and to this we are going to pass the value which we are receiving for this genre variable basically the value which we are passing as the route parameter and we are storing it in this genre variable so let me go ahead and let me assign it here okay let's save the changes here let's go to postman and currently we are passing action here so when i click on the send button we should have only that document in the result where the genre is action if i go ahead and if i pass some other genre maybe sci-fi so let me copy this from here and let's pass it here so now we should have only that document in the result where the genre is sci-fi in the same way if i pass thriller now we should have only that document in the result where the genre is thriller so in this lecture we learned about some more stages of an aggregation pipeline for example unwind add fields project and limit and we also talked about one new operator called push now as i mentioned in the last lecture if you want to learn more about aggregation pipeline its stages and operators you can go to the documentation of mongodb and here you can find the aggregation pipeline stages okay so in the last lecture we talked about this group stage we also talked about this match stage and today we talked about this project stage we talked about unwind so if i scroll down we should have here we have this sort stage we should have unwind stage okay so here you can go ahead and you can learn about other stages as well for example sort by count or skip or set window fields etc in the same way if you want to learn about aggregation operators so you can go to this page and here you can learn about aggregation pipeline operators for example here we have the arithmetic operators if i scroll down here we have array operators okay we have boolean operators like and not or we have comparison operators okay we have conditional operators and today we talked about one operator called push so let me go ahead and let me search for that okay so here we have this push operator okay so you can learn about this push operator here as you can see this push operator returns an array of all values that results from applying an expression to the document okay and here you can also see on which stages this push operator can be used then here's the syntax here's an example so you can go through this documentation to learn more about aggregation pipeline okay so whatever is important in aggregation pipeline that i have already covered in this lecture and in the last lecture but if you want to learn more about aggregation pipeline you can always go to the mongodb documentation this is all from this lecture if you have any questions then feel free to ask it Thank you for listening and have a great day.